Men... Ja, oh, vår kiss. Thank you. Cheers. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson and I'm here once again in our beautiful chicken best, super mega, ultra best, couldn't be any better test location in the southwest of England. So for this week's video I'm making a return to the Sunday special. Uh, the Sunday special got put on hold for a time because uh, it wasn't on down at the brewery that I play at but this week we returned and so I've decided to take three picks out as is the way and do a good solid road test. So this week's contenders were as follows. The original Dava Control Pick, the Metapix Aluminium Jazz, and the Ibanez Hard Elastomer 2.2mm. So three very distinct, very different types of plectrums, but I took them out, played with them. We were going from two o'clock until seven o'clock today and so it was a good test to see how the picks fared but i'm going to tell you about each one of these in turn and we'll see how we get on so without further ado let's go so firstly i'm going to come back to an old friend this is the original dava control pick now this was very kindly gifted to me by a gentleman called eric lawyer that's his real name uh, out in new jersey following a conversation we had he was going to send me what he termed a, um, a care package of plectrums which actually contained 85 picks and amongst them was this. Now I hadn't played one of these in a long long time and I had the original Davos when they came out. Um, it was one of those picks where if people fell in love with Dave Story's creation that was all they could use and I will try and show this in the photograph but the for those of you who don't know, the Dava was an interesting one because I grab my trusty calipers. The widest part of the pick uh, is it's 1.7 mil at the top with the raised lettering, and then it's a millimeter at the bottom. But the middle section is 0.7 of a millimeter. And the idea behind this was that the more you choked down on the pick, the harder it got. Now. This is fine in theory. What this meant that was, I started trying to do the jam stuff we were doing on the stick. The tone was okay. Uh, I played acoustic with it for a bit. And while it was great for strumming because there's, you know, you can see the flex in it there. Look. While it was great for strumming there's and there's very little resistance, the downside of this, was that it felt very um, thin, tonally speaking. Now obviously, when you're playing at volume with the electric, it's all right, because you can compensate for it with compression or what have you, but this felt, especially in acoustic, it felt a little bit fairy liquid. That being said, I am used to playing thicker plectrums and that is a big part of it. So, not bad, not bad. So, Dava Control Pick, a good showing, could have been better, but that's okay. Next up was a brand new acquisition in the heavy repping offices, this Metapix Aluminium Jazz. I was extremely excited to receive these. Firstly, I will tell you this, the grip is unbelievable. Um, I also discovered something today which is extremely important and that is that the wonderful thing about it is the grip is really extreme, it goes through the strings really really well, however I had switched to Ernie Ball Primos on the stick and they are not coated, they are just strings. I've now gone for, instead of nine and a halfs, uh, I've gone for a set of 9 to 46 elixirs. Using these uncoated strings was a completely different experience. And I say this because on non-coated strings, because it's aluminium and it doesn't have like loads of slope on the sides, there was this sort of all the time. And it was driving me crazy because I really loved the sound on the plain strings. Surprisingly little string noise as well. 
uh, I found in a live setting that it had loads of it had loads of poke when you were doing single note work. If you're playing Ernie Ball Cobalts, this would probably set fire to your house. But if you're playing anything that's a slicker string with a Gore-Tex coating, buy these immediately because it was such a good experience. And even though this has tarnished the paint, there's no catching, there's no nick nicks or notches or anything like that so heavy plums serious serious business from Metapix great little sound final pick of the pile was this this is the Ibanez hard elastomer came all the way from Japan um, wonderful gent called Boris who runs sunless effects shout outs to sunless effects go and follow them on Instagram he very kindly sent me these and uh, bought them in his local shop and sent them to me through the post from Taiwan uh, which is really, really, really kind of him. These are made of elastomer, which is a really hard rubber, but unlike the wedgies, which I tried before, which was like playing with an eraser in the shape of a pick, this was oddly hard. Um, there's still flex in it. This is 2.2 millimeters, by the way. So you can see that there's plenty of bend, right? I'm not pushing it that hard. But the thing that was really impressive about this was I played it the way I would play. I don't I don't hold back with these things because it's a pick, right? It's not like saying, oh, my car's really fast. I'm going to drive it carefully. This really did give a very, very rewarding sound. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. Uh, the string noise is almost non-existent. It sounds like I imagined the wedgies were going to sound. So it's got a roundness to it it's it's closer to using your fingers than it is to using a pick that's made from delrin or nylon or anything like that and it had a wonderfully um broad sort of sound i would imagine on acoustic uh, i played the acoustic with the dava today but the i would imagine on acoustic that this would be an absolutely brilliant thing the, if you want if what you're looking for is that jazz <laughs> sound that it, honestly I've tried a lot of jazz picks um, acetal ones and bone ones and horn and all the rest of it but actually if you want like no top end this is the this is the business man like it's it sounds like even on the acoustic it sounded like I was playing with flat wounds um, but it didn't have that hard ponkiness that you get from flats so yeah these are amazing so I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Sunday special. Uh, I'm going to slightly change the format up in the weeks to come uh, and it will obviously depend on whether or not the jam is happening but I will find another way of road testing the picks, don't you worry. In the meantime, and this is a very important matter, important announcement, public service announcement from Heavy Repping, the video release schedule is now going to change because I have a new job and it has meant that my hours are greatly different from what they were before. So there'll be no videos on a Friday morning going forward. They will be coming out on Tuesday night instead. So set that in your calendar or ding the little notification bell and that way you'll always be able to keep up on news from the Plectroverse. My name is John Tron Davidson. This is Heavy Repping. And I shall see you soon. Just remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard, rep heavy. <laughs>